Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Leona's Corner. For those who are visiting for the first time, welcome and thank you for popping in. And those who are returning, thank you for coming back. I do appreciate it. So today I am doing a floss sheet video and I have a finish. So last week I started, more my start was this um, Be Well, Be Kind, Be Happy, Be Well by Lizzie Kate and I actually have finished it and I have framed it so it didn't take too long so I started this should have got my notes out a bit better um, so I started that on the 16th of May and I finished it on the 19th of May so I'm quite pleased that it didn't take too long Even it is a small stitch but I did it on 28 count even weave and that's the first time I've actually used even weave so I'm quite impressed that um, didn't take long to do on something I haven't used before the only thing I did notice is um, on so on the pattern she gave um, up the top here there's little X's but it's not actually on down here so I um, we're looking at some others who had completed it and they used like a I think it was a greenish but or blue so I found a little blue that I like um, 809 and I used it up for that top little corner bit so I'm going to be actually hanging it off on my wall because I've got um, photo frames for Mother's Day. And um, so yeah, I'm going to frame that on the wall with my um, other pictures. So because I finished that earlier than I had planned, I went back to what I had done beforehand. So I started this um one I'm gonna start by the day so bright okay. So I started this one on the second of May. So this is my first um start for Stitch Rania which is this better days ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. Um I will insert a photo of what it looked like before I or when I finished it off. And now this is what it looks like now. So I got more the inside of the flower done. Um, and in this flower at last you will see um, I had gaps missing because I had two colours missing. So I filled that gap and there was just a few ones on the side that hadn't been done. So basically from there down is fully completed now. So I'm quite happy with how that is progressing. So I did that. Um, I that Wednesday, so I'm not sure I did this on some of this on Thursday, but I didn't cross stitch any yesterday on Friday. So that is my update on that one. So now it's Saturday the 23rd. Where's my phone? May has gone so quickly. Yes, 23rd of May. So that means a new start. So I showed you, I think, last week that I had changed my uh, designs around. So I saw this and I really wanted to do it. So I printed out. Um, so when you get it, you've got one that it's like. It, I can't explain it off. You get it but it's not quite an um, A4 size but you do get a larger version so I printed that off and I'll give you a little idea what I'm talking about without giving the pattern away. Um, okay, I do this, is that? 
you can see the size difference of um, being on this one page and but the larger page goes over um, four different pages so that's going to be a lot easier to see what I'm stitching. So I'm going to be not sure if I'm going to start that today because my fingers are really sore because yesterday we got an outdoor Spanish setting and this morning I was putting together so my thumb and a couple of other fingers are a bit sore from using the stupid Allen key. But it's all set up and I will insert a picture of what our new outdoor setting looks like. I'm quite pleased with it. So with this um, COVID-19, it, um, it's both stitch on well, it's going to be design area is 12 by 12 if stitched on 14 count ADA. I don't have 14 count ADA, I think, big enough, so I went and found a um, an app. Uh, what's it called? Cross stitch fabric calculator, and I worked out if it was that size for an 18 count. I think it wanted a little bit bigger, but I didn't quite have the size I want. So it will, the design air will be nine by nine and I counted, I counted out 11 by 11. So it's still giving me a bit of a border, but we'll see how that goes. Okay. Put it back in the so that is going to be my new start. I uh, I think I showed you one or two videos ago that I was doing a um, another stitch that I started in April. <coughs> Excuse me. And I actually fin finished it and framed it. So this is I love cot stitching. I um, this was done on fourteen count Ada, and that's a. 8 by 10 inch frame, so just you can see just on top of the line and down the bottom. So it just fit it in. So I should have got a I'm not sure the next size up what inch, but a 30 by 40 frame. So, but I'm I like how this is, so I'm going to be framing that as well. So I use the so 40 count Ada and I use DMC floss. 898 and 718 and this is design was done by Michaela Lerner I think I got on one of the freebie sites on Facebook so I'm quite happy that it's not finished so I'll frame that not frame it hang it um, hopefully soon so that is my stitch mania update and yeah, so I haven't brought anything like materialized or anything like that, but I did um, buy this magazine that last week or a bit last week sometime, and you got this little flea pattern with it. So I might do a flip through later on for you. So that's basically it. Oh, I want to show you one thing that um, I went to Spotlight. I'm not sure when I got ages ago. Now I bought this little thing to hang on, and um, I decided I'll hang it up on my wall. And I added my um, pillow that I finished, and another little one I did. So I'll quickly show you that. Hang on a sec. So here it is. Is actually on my wall. So I have to lift you up. So I just got a um, one of those removable hooks and I hanged it up so you can see my actual sow I finished recently and sewed up and this was a little um, cross stitch I did recently and that sort of made into a little flat cushion. So I thought that's quite cute. And I'm going to be hanging those out of pictures I showed you on that wall with because that was the frame I got one of them and I'm going to add that as a round so yeah 
Hang on, so I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna sit here. Yeah, so I'm quite happy how that turned out, and um, yeah, that's basically all I have to for this week. So I will be back again next week to show you my progress on my COVID-19 and any updates I have since then. So if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below and the notification bell. And I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.